Thanks for joining us. This is actually a video out of the members collection. This was the first video. I asked them what they wanted to see between the fish room, the quarantine house, or the property. And they picked the property. So here it is. Dude, look at that. Actual blue sky. In Indiana. <laughs> we would hardly ever see these at all, if ever. That's one thing I love about the property. clouds. Look at that. All blue. All blue. I spun you guys all around. And all the different types of birds that go flying by. I see all sorts of types. Fun to watch. Hello members. Thanks again for the support. And it was unanimous that you guys wanted to see in the fish room number three. No, I'm just playing. You guys wanted to see number two, the property, which I figured we would start from the fish room. And this is what the back of the barn looks like. So as you walk out in the back, there's like quite a bit of space here. You can see where I had some kiddie pools that I tried last year, which the wild just got to them. It was too much. Wasn't worth risking fishing. So I scrapped that project. But eventually all this will be greenhouse, do a huge pond on the back here, back wall and over there, just more space, more space. And the greenhouse will end up going, it'll kind of be blocked off and then go up that way. So I'll have a full light area of the greenhouse and then a more shaded area of the greenhouse. Since I get shade from the trees and the barns back here, it usually just gets like the midday sun, which will be pretty good. As you can see, it goes down a little ways to the tree line for the property line. And tons of space down that way. And yeah, you gotta love my curtain here. Had some green carpet, I have a scrap piece, and well, I just pretty much screwed it up to the door. That way it keeps the sun out of the fish room because that is Western looking where the sun sets, where the fish room actually gets a lot of, it's really hot sun. Being in Florida, it gets hot, but there you can see the house down there. The property goes all the way from the tree line. So if you see these tree lines on the sides, all the sides and all the way back, which it's hard to get a perspective of how big it truly is here. And you gotta ignore that thing because that's my gimbal and it's the only one that sits on the phone and then up there's the road and we got more trees. But here's the barn. And we'll have to be taking Zorro here to uh, go around because between editing all the clips that it would take for this property and how much there is to discuss on this property and what the future is gonna hold, this is really a big video for you guys. And I'm trying not to edit much, but with this barn, what I wanna do right now, it is a 30 by 40, I believe, or 20 by 40, I can't remember. But I wanna put a second floor on it. This is next year. I'm thinking hopefully next beginning of winter or maybe after the wet season, next year, summer. Second floor up there. That way I can do crafts, I can have my editing, my photo, all my multimedia stuff and just have a place to strategize and even have like a drafting board, all kinds of stuff just to create. And then downstairs will be mostly all fish operational. And then we'll push this wall over here into this square and then we'll create more space here, which I'll run my desk all the way down. This will remain all mostly fish breeding, operational, you know, all that stuff, what you guys will see me doing here. And then this space, I'll add uh, another concrete pad here. Maybe I may build this into like a pond or something, but I do want more ponds inside of the fish room. So I'll end up taking this wall out, making more ponds for like arowanas, rainbow fish, just really cool, cool setups. And I plan on practicing some of those ponds here on the back where I'll do the backside more of a greenhouse area because that gets more of its shade and it'll be better for the summertime. And then for this front spot, I want to move over and do kind of like a walk-in terrarium pond deal that just 
it's kind of like a whole escape like natural area that that's what it is it's like you're walking into an actual tank so it'll be so big that'll be like that which will be awesome and then for the upstairs on this second part after i move the wall i'll probably do like a decking so i'll have a lookout here that i can see all through the ponds and uh be able to enjoy more because when you get that upper top view you can see so much more and i do already got a pretty nice view from the barn with the window here i used a door i got it for 20 dollars from a repurposed place put it on its side from like a, a sliding door and now i've got an awesome window that i can see out towards then i've got storage over here this area i'll probably do some ponds here on the edge I thought about extending it out for construction material and stuff like that. I don't know. I may do that, but still do ponds here where you can see it's shaded. That's a nice spot for that. I was thinking about maybe doing some ponds in the ground over here. Once again, storage. There's actually a lot right here that's already um, smooth out. We could put a modular house there. It's already got a water system. That's the water system to the barn. We've got electric that goes through here. But the reason I don't know if I want to do that as like a construction tools area is I want to eventually make a pond over here. That's what that will be a place that a lot of my stuff can drain out as far as my bigger ponds for overflow that will be outside. I will dig up a pond here. That way things will just overflow and then the uh, soil and stuff will take care. Well, I'll have to do a lot of water management within that. And then we got space back here in this corner as well, where I was thinking about doing some ponds on the ground, but there's plenty of space to work over there. With the power lines, I try not to deal with much of that. But here, there's a space where I would like to put like a barn, maybe do like a barn dominium, which actually will probably be more over towards this area let's go ahead and go over here hopping old zorro here and uh there you can see the tree line that's the property line as well and then i got a path here as you can see between the house and the barn and i actually usually just walk this because i just i love the walk and it's right next to the ponds with the garden on the other side I gotta take the long way. I don't want you to make it fast. But. All right, here we are. There's the fish barn. This is where I would like to create another barn um, just for like tools, fun stuff. Maybe put a couple guest rooms in it. Just an area to hang out and separate fish in all the construction. I hate having my construction and fish together, but this actually slopes down. It's hard to see on the camera but there's just a slight hill here so we could actually build like a little decking and be able to look over our garden which we plan on making more of a food forest here we're not doing like the regular rowing and plowing granted we are building the beds tilled up and stuff like that but eventually it will be more into nature and a little food forest that we'll be able to travel through we've actually got if you see these white labels there boom boom there's actually quite a few trees they just blend in with all the foliage but we do got some fruit trees we recently planted and speaking of trees i absolutely love these oaks that are down here uh, one of my favorites and of course there's more plans for over here by the house i want to do a garage over here i've got an awesome idea for a swimming pond which uh, I think I'll probably do it in salt water. Keep that under your guys' hat. Would be awesome to have a salt water pond. That'll be the hangout area. Uh, build a thing for the cats. I need to build something for the dog too. Just for like their own space over at the house. And fire pit. So we've got a lot to build and do out here. But it's so nice having this big of a canvas to work with. Anyways, let's get to the ponds here. Could use a four-wheeler. Oh man, that's a 
Humpy on the golf cart. And here you can see we've got a little bit of the garden going already. Just parts of it. We got banana trees coming back, onions. I saw some beans coming back. So there is a bit already started. It's just working into it and the season. I don't know. That looks like celery. We got some pineapples coming back, trying to make their way back. That little buzzing noise. We use these to keep the gophers, rabbits, mice, and stuff away. It's a little solar beeper thing. Works pretty good. Now composting. Planning on doing more of an area for composting. Actually building bins, but... This was a huge pile and uh, it's breaking down. We've got a little bit of composting going. Same with over there. That's our deep well. I absolutely love our deep well. Eventually I want to get a deep well for the barn just because the water that comes out of that is a lot nicer than the water that comes over at the barn. But there's the back of the house, the view with the ponds. It's hard to see the ponds from here, but um, we'll get to there and we do want to get some shade cloths irrigation systems for the garden work all that in so Once again lots to do here I do love grabbing this rock out of the garden. This is that limestone rock that I use in my tanks. All right, so there there's the garden. There's the path Another path which we drive into then we got the front pond And here up in the front we've got a side lot where these trees are in the barn there there's christmas um i want to pull a lot of these trees out and move them up towards the front i love these trees there you can see the house in the front pond pretty good size and we've still got a lot of land behind me right now it's 30 acres lots of lots of land barns down that way and the water is actually low right now the water will go all the way up all the way down until here here you can kind of see better i guess uh, but it'll come all the way up to this edge that pond will so it'll get twice as big as what it is right now it's hard to really show this on camera for you guys so let's go ahead and head up to the pond here. Let's go ahead and head to the first pond. This is the front pond. Now we've got four other ponds from this. I absolutely love this about this pond when the water is low. There's some neat rock around here, but this edge of this rock cliff. Look at this as I zoom in pretty cool and that's an awesome diving point that's where we're gonna go the barn and down there straight ahead is where you go to the other ponds we're gonna stop here first Hurricane Ian kind of blew my little docking there, but we'll eventually get a floating dock. That way it can fluctuate with the water levels and everything. Well, here it is down at the first pond. You can see a bunch of guppy grass. Looks like it's trying to die and come back. See fish down there. Oh yeah, a bunch of fish. Tons of hornwort. That hornwort is probably like, I don't know, at least 10, 16 foot tall crazy it actually goes way down right there you can see some panfish not quite sure what kind of panfish these are some sort of bluegill cichlid type you can see them down there it's really cool what do you think christmas you hungry look at that water rippling it's beautiful this is therapy here absolute therapy it's lots of fish and there's actually quite a few spots over there on that rock 
Uh, that's a great jumping spot where it's just absolutely clear. There's not a whole lot of plants. It's deep enough to where you don't have to worry about it. But yeah, it's got a good size to it. And then it wraps around all the way over there. And more of that rock, that limestone-like rock. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Christmas loves it. He's living the life here. He comes down here all the time getting drinks, just playing, messing around. Pretty sure I saw an alligator in here the other day. Because it wasn't quite like these turtles. You can see a few turtle heads. Maybe on here. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Oh, there they are. See all the... See the three turtle heads there? Just hanging out. Lots of turtles. There's a lot of little fish. Shelby K of the Garden of Eater caught bluefin killies. Oh, look at this bass just watching Christmas. Caught bluefin killies, the golden top minnows. She was catching everything. Pygmy sunfish. You name it, she was catching it out here. And the cool thing about the Florida natives which I don't really want to put much. Oh man, he's got all the fish attention. I don't really want to put much out here that's not already out here, but if I did want to add something, which I'll show you guys what I'll have planned here in the future too with some of these natives. All right, buddy, you ready for the next one? He's always grabbing the plants out of here and sticks. But you eating that? <laughs> That's a good boy. That's so cool. Which I actually used to feed a lot of these fish and why they come up here. Well, they were always kind of here. But I did quit feeding them because... I mean, if I ever need to eat them, I don't need to be feeding them what I want to eat myself. Keep it natural. Those are some cool little red fins. I don't know what they are, but they're delicious. All right, let's head to the other ponds. Ready, buddy? I don't think he is. And once again, that water level will come all the way up here. You can see where the taller weeds are and where it's more smooth out, where it comes up. It'll come all the way up to there. That's a holy crap. You just climbed that straight up. Dang dog, that was pretty good. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Nah, you don't need to jump in that. It's an inspiring little cubby hole. All the green and red. It's neat when all the plants go in their water. All right, house and the other ponds. All right, let's do it. Here, I'll take you along to the other side of this pond real quick too. Another little cubby here. This is more shallow, not quite as deep. As you can see, I'm same with that over there. Come on, buddy. Area of space. This grass right here on the side is pretty neat. But well, here are the ponds, the other four ponds. So we got one, two back there, three here, and that makes four. You can see it's the same thing with that rock. So they used to mine the rock out of here. 
and that's what this is but it's also the aquifer so this is the water table for where i'm at so this is how far you got to dig to get to the water and this will actually become one pond it doesn't do it often but it has happened the first time we moved down here this was all one complete pond so the whole path was uh, underwater but let's go ahead and move in here we had a four foot alligator here last year i haven't seen it for a while but now there's a smaller one that's around lots of sticks hides for fish and stuff and they are some big big lunkers down here big lunkers here, i'll show you how clear i mean that water is so clear too even with the wind you can see down all the way down I mean, it's tasty water we got some plants over there some uh big leaf foliage foliage this stuff's usually in the water but the water level is just this is the lowest i've ever seen it There's that pond. I'll go ahead and get in the middle of them, but all the way to the tree line, that's the property. Let's go to the back of it, all the way to the back of it. So that's the front two ponds there. Ready, buddy? Woo, go Christmas, go. Run, buddy, run. Oh, this pond's kind of cool. It's got two little islands, booby islands. I thought I saw some otters in here. Oh man, that water is so clear over there. And uh, some pig come down here, but I haven't seen them for a while. They pretty much cleared out. Oh shit, there went some. Or I mean, excuse me. Oh, it's a bird, a goose. Christmas went for it. S scared it all. Oh, and there's my boat. It's kind of sunk. Somebody came down here mess around with the boat that we had back here. And kick them off the property. We haven't had much trouble lately though. Alright. So here we are at the back of the property. So here we are at the back of the property. Still kind of hard to give it any justice. But boom boom. Front ponds. Back ponds. Back pond. But so this pond's actually pretty neat with how shallow it is. And then we still got more land that just goes and goes. And a fairly natural fence back here. It's actually healed up and fenced off with barbed wire. My dad did a survey on Google Maps and I guess it's a mile of fencing for this property that's not counting the fencing in the middle but just around it it's a, it's a square mile or it's a mile long of fencing it's crazy and here you can see this one is so shallow i don't know how much lower it can go until this one's gone but it's kind of neat this one would be a good one to actually put up mesh and uh, farm out some of the pan fish and just feeder fish and other types of native fish within like mesh squares, kind of like how they do it in Thailand, Thailand with the uh, nylon mesh fabrics and stuff. I think that'd be cool. The hardest part though is keeping alligators, pigs, otters, birds and stuff out of it. That's the trickiest part out here, so. Especially in the back corner pond might be a little harder to do back here. Christmas, let's not go in that one. Come on, buddy. Let's move on to the next. Come on. Let's move to the next. That one's kind of dirty, but it's cool having pond options. I mean, shoot, it's hard to complain about it. But you can see here where it actually goes down. You can jump off. You can build a nice little sand beach here. This actually would be a good spot for the sand beach. I would like to do that eventually, but um, there you can see some of the smaller fish. 
which we'll get into collecting more of the smaller fish showing you guys what's all in here as far as that goes in another video obviously this video is going to be long enough to where it's going to be hard to get into all that uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video hope it gives you a better perspective of the property that pinning work lots of little fish there and a better idea of what i'm working with here what are you eating buddy oh, he's eating some grass he's got special grasses he likes and you can see the barn all the way down there It's really cool when it gets swampy out here looking too because all the fog will come up. Man, you can see the water lines, all that green, that's water line. Thank you all again for the awesome support. Without you guys, none of this would even be possible. So let's help build it up. Let's see what this future holds. And man, like I said before, with all this area to play around, I should have a lot coming out for you guys. I don't, it's gonna be a long time till I get tired of playing with this property. So I appreciate you all. Thank you, thank you. Until next time, everybody, peace. Have a great one.